Welcome to another Goody Reader comparison video. My name is Michael. This is Peter. And today we're going to review the Attaco Jetbook Color against the Kyobo Mirror Cell e Reader. This is basically a battle between Mirror Cell and E Ink Triton the two newest and latest generation of technologies. This is of course is a Korean exclusive. We got our hands on it. This is an, basically the Jumbo Color just came out. We also got our hands on it at Goody Reader. We always like to review the latest and greatest. The purpose of this uh, video is not to really show you which device is better, but is mainly just to show you the contrast between uh, Miracell as packaged in this device via e and Triton which is packaged in this device. Uh, specs really don't mean a lot. This is an Android. This is Linux. This has a 1024 by 768 resolution whereas the Jetbook Color has 1600 by 1200. Uh, far superior resolution but this is the differences between the screen, you know, a 5.7 inch screen versus a 9.7 inch screen. So there's a lot of uh, contrast there. We're not going to show you the hardware and, and everything like that and, and everything because we'll just look at the size of it. It doesn't really play, make it play into what we're doing here. Although we do have dedicated review videos of both of these devices. So if you want to see everything about this or everything about that, check out our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash good e-reader, all one word. So what we're going to do is we're going to check out how eBooks, how magazines, newspapers, how the audio experience is, and a lot of everything else. So uh, without further ado, let's check out how some of the, the book content loads. You can see here we hit the home menu and it's very and it is Android so you can install any Android apps you want on here whereas you can't really install apps on here uh, just given that it's a Linux platform everything on here is preloaded so this allows a little bit more versatility let's check out how comic books load so we're gonna check out a DC comic book here You can see this loaded fairly quickly. This is uh, lagging a, a bit behind. I'm going to try to get to go. the same page. So you can see that this is a little bit more vibrant. You can see that the blues here are different from the blues here. I would probably say that this is almost the truer representation of uh, the comic book. Again, both of these comic books, they're not new. These are really old, like 20, 30 year old comic books. So obviously the art has come a long way from back then to now, but we wanted to give the distinction on the old time look. So you could see really how the colors here differ and we can let you guys just judge for yourselves what you like better the comments that I'll make and we can put it up to the screen is one of the benefits of mirror cell and e-ink is under direct sunlight you could read them we have hardcore studio lights here which uh, obfuscate any type of tablet we put there but with the mirror cell I mean you could really actually see and it's the same thing with uh, the e-ink you know, you could put it under direct light, and even with harsh studio lights, you could still see what's going on underneath it. So yeah, both of them are, are fairly vibrant. Uh, if you were personally going to say which one you like better, which would you say? Um, I'm not really too sure. I would have to say this one just because it more closely represents actual paper. So this is what I imagine it would actually look like. Whereas this one kind of looks refined and a little bit, you know, restored in a way. So I would probably say the e-ink only because it's looking at it, you're really getting that comic book feel looking at this type of screen. Okay, so we've checked out how comic books look. Maybe let's uh, check out how a newspapers look. A lot of people obviously are very keen on reading sort of uh, newspapers on their device. So is that this right yeah, here? The, uh... Page. Nope. Okay, 
So this is the same screen uh, that you would that you see here. Obviously, this fits a lot more than this does. Compact, small, uh, much larger. This does have the ability to pinch and zoom, though. Whereas with uh, the Jepo Color, if you wanted to uh, change the size, you would actually have to hit the menu button and then manually zoom in. It's fairly easy to do, but it, you're you're going through a bunch of different motions that you wouldn't normally have to do here. This is one of the advantages of the Android platform is that you can kind of customize it right on the fly and you can see that it is fairly responsive. Uh, this is touch screen as well but it only does work with the accompanied stylus. You can't really do anything with your fingers. So make sure you don't lose it folks. So you can see that this is how it looks here. I mean obviously you can you can fine tune this so it looks uh, pr the way that you want to and you could also augment this as well. So this is basically how a standard newspaper would look. So you can see this is very, uh, without changing the, the font size, it is readable. On camera it does look a little bit condensed, but it is fairly easy to read. Whereas with the small screen and this, it's pretty hard to read. Very difficult. But that's where like pinching and zooming comes into play. Uh, this also does landscape and portrait mode. But unfortunately, the Jepo Color does not. So you could, depending on how you want to hold it, do it. So that's how the newspaper experience looks. Uh, next, let's look how uh, an ebook uh, looks. So we'll check out. And uh, we'll fire it up with the Kindle. Um, oh, okay. Probably Moon Reader. Moon Plus Reader. Uh, right there. All right. Yeah, this is an EPUB book after all, which is why I wouldn't work with Amazon. Let's go to the home page. I have no idea why we're that far in this book. Let's go where it looks like we're at chapter six. Maybe. Pew. Quick thinking. And I have no idea why we were seven chapters into this book. Here we go. I am not a huge Kristen Hanna <laughs> fan, personally. Guilty. <laughs> awesome. Um, so, yeah, here again is the distinction between uh, Ian Triton. You can see that this looks uh, a little bit richer. The blues are richer. It's kind of just, uh, let's maybe move them both up to the camera a little bit to give like a little bit of a side by side comparison. So you could see that color is a little bit richer. Although this is mirror cell. This isn't just like your standard LCD. So this is definitely much higher resolution than it would be say like on a Velocity Micro Cruise or a first generation pen digital e-reader. It's a little bit more advanced and you can see here that it looks almost a little bit more real and, and I mean Peter hit the nail right on the head when he said that this almost mimics the paper experience whereas this is a little bit more refined so this is like it seems a little bit more digital like everything looks like it's upscaled a little bit more whereas this is like a true to form let's just check out uh, how the actual like text looks because um, that's fairly important So you, obviously this is more responsive than this, just saying. So obviously with the same thing here, you can't really pinch and zoom because Moon Plus Reader doesn't support that. With this, you can zoom it to uh, change your experience. 
you can't really uh, change the font size line spaces or margins depending on what e-reader Android app you're using uh, such as Eldico has a little bit more uh, options to change the font size line spacing margins so you could really with Android tailor it to your to your liking but this is the big distinction between a small and portable device via a larger more non-portable device but if it's more text on the screen um, everything is a little bit better both of them allow you to t make highlights and annotations uh, they both have like dictionary lookups uh, I, I do like the text to speak speech function on uh, the Ektako Jetbook Color although right now we have the speech going in Russian but you notice that it's a little bit more responsive to do copy to do highlights and things like that one of the drawbacks in here is most of the highlights you make when you close the book and open up again they don't appear it's firmware issues things like that should be resolved in the future so they both pretty well do the same things they just have a little bit of a different way that you go about doing it so have we showed pretty well everything in terms of content pictures right let's check out how just a straight picture looks and do we have the same pictures Let's uh, load up the D and D book. Have we shown that yet? Let's do that. Cause that that has like pictures and everything in it. You must be very patient with this device. This device is um, from the moment we got it, um, it. It it does get there, but you do have to be extremely patient when loading things. So we're just gonna look at the um, monster manual of uh, D and D. And we're going to try to get to something a little bit more similar on both of these. So there you go. Monster and some text nearby. Look at that. Let's get to the same thing here. There you go. And if anybody is asking, it was my idea to load this on both machines. Exactly. So you can tell. It's going to be pretty hard to find the same one you can change the picture oh did you did you catch up <laughs> yeah oh he did yeah, yeah okay my fault does it does it actually say on here what page that you're on uh, oh it does yes it did indeed it does here we go okay let's maybe just zoom in on the camera a bit so we could actually see uh, what's happening here So, again, the same sort of issue where text is a little small, but that's where pinching and zooming comes into play. Uh, zooming in on the picture a little bit. It does look fairly good. All right, now same picture. Let's uh, check it out how it looks on uh, the Taco Chippa Color. As you can see, colors not as crisp and vibrant, but I think I like it like that a little bit better. The yellows are coming through a little bit, and especially, I mean, this is on camera, but even with our naked eye, um, it, it does look like you are holding a page of the Monster Manual more than this does any day of the week. This is full size. This is full color. Uh, once again, the colors are coming off way better in... Um, uh, in person as they are and then they are on the camera but this looks more like the real book right so the and we'll leave it up to you guys to decide which you like better again this is not a comparison of which device physically is better but we've showed you newspapers magazines game manuals ebooks and that's the primary reason and purpose behind this tutorial is to show you the differences there's really no comparison between Android and you know the operating system that the Jetbook Color uses Android's a little more versatile you can install any app that you want games movies and uh, both of them actually do play music although I would say that the speakers on the Jetbook Color are 
way way better i mean we we played quiet songs and loud sounds and there was no contrast and i do like the fact that the jippo color has put the speakers on the bottom of the device as opposed to the mirror cell here which is the back so if i'm playing music it's muffled because it's on its back whereas the jumbo color is on its back and the speakers are pointed at you so if you have any comments questions or concerns uh, please uh, post them on our youtube channel and we'll address anything that you want as well as if you want to see follow-up videos uh, please let us know uh, but for the premise of this video we have showed you the the book and ebook distinctions between the Itaco Jetbook Color and the Akiobo Miracell e Reader, E Ink Triton versus Miracell for GiddyReader.com. My name is Michael. This is Peter. And everybody take care.